continue tonight to see emotional shows of support in New Jersey for the people affected by the war in Ukraine. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane in Bayonne as people come together tonight. There's been no shortage of an outpouring of support for Ukrainian refugees here in our area today. Members of the Polish community here in Bayonne held a donation drive focusing mainly on first aid supplies. <laughs> the Polish American Community Circle collected donations at the Polish American Home Community Center. <laughs> Members of the organization gather here to promote and celebrate Polish culture, but today they were here in support of their Ukrainian neighbors. They are like our sisters and brothers, and uh, it's very important that we have good relation and, you know, we we feel like it's our family. We need to help. Polish Americans here in our area say this is an opportunity to step up, even in a small way. At today's donation drive, the group collected first aid supplies like band-aids, bandages, painkillers, gauze, things that can help those who are wounded, especially soldiers. They also collected feminine products and products for babies. And the least that we can do was, you know, donate a few bandages, a few necessary items. It's been just over a week since Russian forces invaded the Ukraine. A million people are said to have now fled to neighboring countries like Poland. Poland Americans here today deeply saddened for their Ukrainian friends who have families back home. They're scared for their families' lives. It's tough for them, and, and I'm trying to keep a positive light, but with the news and all the updates, it's, it's tough. Now, once everything is collected, not just from this organization, but from several other organizations as well, once all those things are collected, everything will ultimately go to the Ukrainian Children's Foundation. And organizers here today tell us that they've got connections, boots to the ground in both Poland and the Ukraine that will handle distribution. In Bayonne, Naomi Yane, News 12, New Jersey.